Good evening. Welcome to our special on the Shaw Prize 2019. I'm Diana Lin. American biologist Maria Jason won the Life Science and Medicine Award for her seminal work in DNA damage and repair in mammalian cells, which has wide implications for genome editing and cancer treatment. Maria lives and works here in New York City. Our chromosomes are constantly attacked by agents damaging DNA. There are two strands of DNA, so encoded information has its own backup. Maria was the first to show that you can make these double-stranded breaks, and then it's possible to repair that in a way that you can change the information of the cell. The failure to repair damaged DNA faithfully can lead to many human diseases. Maria is driven by understanding genomic integrity. Our, our cells protect ourselves to preserve the, the information they've inherited from mom and dad. My father emigrated in 1951 from Czechoslovakia. Her mom's family came from Iraq. Neither one of them had any college at all. Typical of immigrant families, they see education as the way to uh, move forward. Maria attended Florida Atlantic University, where she was inspired by molecular biology courses. Math was my favorite subject for quite some time. Molecular studies often are really focused on measurable quantities, and so a feeling that you could really understand a process um, and feel confident about results. Maria obtained her PhD at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Of course, a concern for me was, uh, what will I fit in? She was at that time quite insecure. Professor Paul Schimmel was her thesis advisor. But the energy and excitement of being there, those were some of the best years of, of my life. She had a very strong root in herself from the kind of support that she had at home from her father, who raised her. Maria's mom died of breast cancer when she was eight. For her thesis, Maria worked with the bacteria E. coli. I used these new tools of uh, in vitro mutagenesis to knock out the gene I was interested in, to mutate it so that there would be no functional copy from the chromosomal sequence. So I could just put in my own pieces of the gene and ask where the function was. Maria participated in eight papers published in grad school. I was really keen to do gene modification experiments in mammalian cells. I thought this would really open up a whole new frontier. For her postdoc in Zurich, Maria used the study in East. If there's a double strand break, the ends of the DNA can capture sequences from the chromosome. And so I had a study of this using the virus system. And I found, in fact, yes, a double strand break in the viral genome would greatly increase homologous recombination. Her second postdoc was at Nobel laureate Paul Berg's lab at Stanford. Finding that uh, double strand breaks are highly promotional for recombination, it was an important breakthrough. Maria then experimented with having double strand breaks integrated into the viral genome. That worked very well. We could get a hundredfold increase of the plasmid going into uh, the correct site in the genome. But still, it was not that efficient. In 1990, she moved to the Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center in New York City, where she established her own lab. What was clear to me was that to really impact recombination, the DNA damage in the form of the double-strand break is introduced into the genome, not into the plasma DNA. And the cells want to use the broken molecule for repair. A real challenge was mammalian genomes are huge. 
Maria managed to get a suitable nuclease from a French lab to create a double-strand break in a mouse genome. I was just stunned by how well things worked. I had hoped we'd get a stimulation of uh, recombination, but it was between one and 10,000-fold stimulation. A very interesting sideline, very powerful, is that besides this huge stimulation of homologous recombination for very precise genome modifications to use, for example, to cure a disease, we had also seen these non-homologous end-joining events, and these are the ones that would uh, create mutations uh, in genes uh, very efficiently. Many people in the field believed that non-homologous end-joining was the most important pathway in mammalian cells. Maria was really the, one of the leaders in showing that homologous recombination is actually really critical in cells. She had to stand her ground. When we did these experiments in 1994, basically what's now termed gene editing, I thought this was a game changer. This would be the most important paper from my earlier career, but we went to about five journals uh, before it was finally published, so uh, it was uh, kind of heartbreaking to me. That was the time when people could take approaches to modify the genome that were inefficient, but they thought, okay, that's good enough for now. Now, various systems make it easy to have appropriate double-strand breaks to promote recombination. The development of the CRISPR system makes the importance of what Maria discovered and established that much more important quickly. Almost all modern gene therapy efforts, all the gene editing, all the research done in correcting genomes are done on the basis of that fundamental discovery she made in 1994. Here we are today, using her discovery to make better crops, animals for a safer and more ethical agriculture, understanding human cells better. That allows you to target any sequence in the genome and either replace it with a new sequence or correct a mutation that's present from birth. If you can specifically repair genes that are mutated, uh, you could cure diseases. The hope is that those discoveries are going to be the things that are going to fuel uh, inventions of drugs. Right now, the problem is focused on misuse of the mm -hmm. technology. We shouldn't use it to play around and see what happens with humans. In recent years, Maria's lab did experiments on hereditary breast ovarian tumor suppressor genes BRCA1 and BRCA2 using mice. These experiments really indicate how prominent homologous recombination is in mammary tissue and presumably in the human breasts as well, especially during times of rapid proliferation, for example, in puberty or during pregnancy. Experiments were also done on human cell lines. What we find is that in the absence of BRCA2, there are lots of aberrations in chromosomes, so it certainly raises the question, how do these cells survive to form tumors when they've lost BRCA2 function, and how can we importantly uh, target those cells or prevent uh, them from occurring in the first place? She devoted most of her time for the research, go back home very late, almost every day, including weekend, holiday. Most of us are, are workaholics just because we're so motivated. Maria Jason was extremely bright, ambitious. She's extremely honest. Uh, whenever I say something wrong, she'll say, you, this is incorrect. Uh, that she would not be try to be polite. She's creative. Uh, she starts things from nothing. Maria is a star and never acts like one. Very warm and loving person. A colleague's dad recently passed away. She was so upset and then we decided to plant a tree in memory of his father. She know my family, know my kids since he was born in New York City. She always makes a point of visiting former trainees when she's uh, in their part of the world and she brings gifts for the kids. 
I love uh, traveling and going to international and national meetings. She's very adventurous about seeking out local cultures, food and drink, and so it's always been good to tag along with her. I have a particular soft spot for France, hiking around the hills in Provence or swimming in the Mediterranean in the Côte d'Azur. My sister has had a sense of curiosity about all sorts of things as far back as I can remember, and an openness to seeing things, people, the world differently. One of the most important things in, in my life is how close we've been as sisters. What a loving and generous and thoughtful sister you've always been. Both love dogs. We've managed to co-share six dogs between us, how they respond to people and situations. And scientifically, it's very curious for me, as well as they're very loving creatures. I would like to continue making scientific discoveries. You know something about nature that nobody knew before, and so um, I just find that extremely stimulating.